Okay, today we get to work on uh, Mikey's uh, uku. Okay, well, gray snapper is called uku in Hawaiian. It's a delicious type of snapper. We have uh, we have all red snappers, pink snappers. It's a gray snapper. And I'm putting the acrylic paint, slightly diluted, with white brush. But again, controlled. I'm not just dipping the fish in the paint, but I'm putting lots of paint because uh, with my technique, we get to dab this up. Uku has this very sharp dorsal fin, uh, which I'd like to capture as a, as a subject character. So certain parts, uh, I put enough emphasis so we can give give a correct identification of, of the fish when you look at the art. Okay, I'm dabbing um, <clears throat> the brush strokes and excess amount of paint away. A self-made tool, it's an old t-shirt rolled up as a burrito or egg roll. I made this pad to um, uh, prepare the surf surface of the fish before I print. So again, some tools are, uh, uh, it's impossible to find in market, so you have to make your own. You have to use your imagination and uh, don't limit yourselves to, to uh, uh, available tools in the art supply uh, stores and so forth. You have a short paper, just gentle, gentle press. But then, you know what goes through my mind is like paint turns into glue, and right now I'm trying to adhere the paper onto onto the fish, and that way, you know, it prevents few things without you even uh, trying. Uh, when you try to glue things, you're gonna prevent the movement. So, so horizontal, vertical movements, and rotational movements, those things. Uh, uh, tends to be the problem when you're trying to uh, take the impression of the fish. It's always good to uh, uh, look at it from different angles. So paint turns into glue and then you're trying to glue the paper onto the fish. You are manipulating the shape of the paper because we are trying to uh, uh, match a three-dimensional subject is fish and two-dimensional material which is paper. So you have to manipulate uh, something which happens to be the paper. We cannot squeeze fish enough to make it flat, but we can uh, uh, pull paper to uh, match the curved shape of the subject uh, hiding under. Again, the eyeball gives life. The eye is really important, even portrait of people. Eye is the window to spirit. I always, always uh, emphasize that uh, when I'm teaching. But then, if you capture the eye, the subject's gonna um, start swimming on you again. So, and. Finish it up with the signature and. The stamp, Hanko, uh, we call them in Japanese, but this, this stamp was made hand carved by this art, artist in Kyoto, in Japan, and then that's the finishing on, uh, icing on the cake, that's the finishing touch right there. So, gray snapper. This is the gray snapper that uh, Mikey caught uh, when he went out with his buddies to uh, honor his dad's passing. Uh, and they went out to scatter ash, and uh, yeah, that, that's when this fish bit, right? So. Yeah, I was able to capture it for the family. So Mikey and his brother, his sister is gonna have one. That's what Gyotaku does uh, many, uh, quite often to capture the special, special memories and moments that are uh, um, special to your family or yourself, and then to be able to um, uh, honor it, put them in your home, and uh, um, you know keep it as keepsake of the part of your life. So Gyotaku, aloha.